two in the grave here. My grandfather died. There was a fuss about the funeral. Then I studied at the institute and my parents were in charge of everything. There is a closed cemetery where my grandfather's mother is buried. So we decided to bury him in this cemetery. My parents came and talked to the cemetery management. They told him that his mother was buried there. The cemetery management went to the meeting and looked at her grave. There was another well-groomed grave with a fence next to hers. There was trash tree branches and other trash next to that grave. The grave had been dug up. I could see the worry on my parents' faces. I did not understand what was going on at the time and attributed it to the aftermath of the tragedy, and I was out of my element as usual. My mother was at the grave, peering at the bottom of the grave. I was standing next to my grandmother at the coffin with smelling salts in my pocket, just in case. I all interrogatively nodded to mom saying what's up. She negatively shook her head and waved her hand saying wait. When we said goodbye to grandfather, closed the lid of the coffin grave diggers lowered the coffin. As usual began to approach the grave and to throw handfuls of earth of a place I went behind the grandmother and here to not fall down. My foot bumped into something sharp and covered with earth. I took advantage of the second when people hesitated near the grave began to clean the ground with my soul that would understand what I had stepped on. There was a piece of iron sticking out of the ground. My mother saw it and said quietly in my ear, Don't go any further. Stay here until grandma comes out. Put your foot here that it will not fall down. I obediently left my foot on the rebar. Anything can still fall. Next grandmother was intercepted by my father apparently my mother nodded to him. She threw three handfuls of earth and my father led her away from the grave. In the details I did not go into then do not before it was. All went well if you can say so on such an occasion. A week later, it was Saturday the phone rang. I picked up the phone at that time there was no cell phone call my grandmother. Hello mom home. Her voice was anxious. I answered hi grandma. Yes she is home. How are you? She immediately told me to call her on the phone. What was surprising to me, she usually begins to say something like yes, what's up and everything, but here just so abruptly. I called my mother, she picked up. Grandma's voice is ringing and apparently I heard her voice remotely conversation was in a bad tone. Mom periodically added phrases and pauses, Mom, why did you get that? Judging by how the conversation ended, I realized that my grandmother hung up. Mom sat down crying. In my attempts to ask what happened mom told me not now, but later. Anyway, years later I learned the essence of their conversation, which I had forgotten, but then when my mother was talking I immediately remembered. We came to the grave of grandfather began to clean up. Then, as if by the way, my mother said to me, grandfather is not lying here alone. I said, how could he be alone? I remember exactly one burial. And then my mother told me how she and my father went to the cemetery. Near his mom's grave was another well-groomed grave, and next to it was a pile of piled branches elements of a fence already rusty and general dump. This place began to check up at parents to rake up garbage, the sentence here and from mom nearby. It turned out that all this garbage was lying on an old grave. Apparently, since the time of burial, no one came. There was a small monument with a barely legible inscription, which had already fallen under the ground. It was only possible to make out what was buried there woman date was not readable completely. There was a fear that during the burial, grandmother would realize it was someone else's grave, and anything could happen. Gravedigger assured that she would not notice it and everything would be fine. That was the end of it. My parents had come earlier and asked to hold the cottage, to check the grave, and there were feet of old fence sticking out. The gravediggers were hammering them into the ground and throwing more earth on top. I stepped on one such leg. But then, after the funeral grandmother had a dream as if she was coming to the house two story comes out of his grandfather and said, Do not come more I now live with another woman. After this dream grandmother began to call my mother. My grandmother does not know the whole truth until now, and I was told to keep quiet, but I need to know it. Here https slash slash jucko, ru slash devo v maja the creepiest stories from life.